Cowboys looking deep down the left side. Mendel in the end zone. Touchdown! Going to the house. And the players streaming from the sideline to celebrate with 17 seconds. Hello and welcome everybody to Be Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. It's Wednesday, September 2nd, 2015. That means we're right in the middle of the second week of the prep football season. But today, it's all about cross country. Up in Fresno with the 18th Annual Highlander Invitational at Woodward Park. Yeah, you know the place. The same place as the central section. The state championships are held. Well, the locals were up there, and they did great. Liberty boys and girls teams swept the team's title up at Highlander, while Liberty senior Miguel Morales won the boys' individual title in a time of 16 minutes, 42 seconds. And Bakersfield senior Maggie Baker won the girls' title in just under 20 minutes, coming in at 19.59. In tennis action, it was Foothill beating East 7-2. And in volleyball action, number seven B varsity ranked Liberty swept to Hatchapi. We've got some highlights from football over the week and decided to put these packages together with the two game night games, Wasco at North, and on Saturday night it was Michigan Hill at Liberty. We've also got Action Frontier at Ridgeview. Let's go to those right now. Action from North hosting Wasco. The Tigers get on the board first. Ricky Rios with screen pass to Cesar Pareto. He's got speed and 1,200 pounds of blockers in front of him. That's an early 6-0 lead for the Tigers. And then into the second, the first of four touchdowns for Curtis Threckeld barreling over the line. 7-0 north. Threckeld once again, the senior to the left side. That's six via the muscle. 14-0 north. And then once again in the second, from the 14 this time, Watch this pretty double reverse. Threckeld will take it in, cut back to the right, finish it off. And that's a 20 to 6 North lead at the half. In the fourth, the final of Threckeld's four touchdowns. This time, he'll push the defense back and give North a 26 to 6 lead before Wasco would get on the board on a two yard run by Prieto. But North wins it 26 to 14. More Friday night action. Frontier at Ridgeview. First play of scrimmage for the Wolfpack. Darius Smith, the central section 100 meter champ, shows why. Pure speed up the right side after two point conversion. It's 8 0 Ridgeview. But Frontier fires right back. Efron Morales, he'll scoot in, and it's 8 7. Ridgeview, and then a 14-7 Ridgeview lead as Efron Morales scores one more time, and it's 20-16 to at the half for the Wolfpack on the first play of the second half already with a 57-yard and the 95-yard touchdown to his name. Smith once again scoots 80 yards past the defense. The senior finishes with 240 yards on just nine carries and three scores for the Wolfpack as they take a 27-6 to lead. And a little bow for Smith. Well, and here comes Frontier once again. Greg Youngblood to the left. Fires off to Isaiah. To a tossy, 17-yard strike. But Ridgeview would hold on for the lead and win this tight one, 36-30 to over Frontier. And then the big one on Saturday, Mission Viejo at Liberty. First drive, Brock Johnson fires to Brendan Schooler. Fantastic catch over double coverage, but this drive would end in the red zone as Johnson, the senior for Mission Viejo, roll out to his right, throws it right into the hands of Zach Griffith. But Mission Viejo would strike first early and often. Johnson to Austin Osborne, 6 nothing Mission Viejo in the second. And then Isaiah Miller. He'll scoot in for the Diablos and take a 13-0 lead and would lead the Patriots 20 to nothing at the half. And then the lead would increase to 27-0 in the third as Miller cuts through the defense and goes 35 yards to the house, dominating 27-0 lead. And then Liberty looking for any signs of life. Gets it from Matt Hubble. Had a big cast put on his left hand at halftime. No matter. The senior grabs the interception. And then later on the ensuing drive, Jordan Love would find Quincy Jowney on a screen pass. Five yards as Jowney grabs it, scoots past the defense, and it's 27-7 to at this point with six minutes left in the third. And then in the fourth, Love once again to Jowney on the right side, 23 yards. 
Looks a lot worse than it is, folks. Both players get up. They're okay. After the penalty, Love would take it in himself, make it 27 to 14, but that's as close as the Patriots will get as Mission Viejo wins it 27 to 14. Well, speaking of football, guys, tomorrow on B Varsity Live with myself and Zach Ewing at 2 p.m. live right here at Bakersfield.com. We've got a big one in store. Bakersfield head coach Paul Gola is in studio with this quarterback here, Greg, and wide receiver Jaquel Tomlin as the Drillers are coming off a close loss against Arizona Powerhouse Mountain Point in San Diego last week, and they look forward to the matchup at home against Fresno Edison, the defending Section D1 champs. Plus, Zach and myself will go over our predictions for the week, and we'll look at the full schedule slate for Friday night's action that will start right here live at Bakersfield.com and also on your radio dial at ESPN 1230 with game night with Vance Palm in studio as we preview all the games. And then the game of the week is Liberty at Ridgeview, another big one. That's all Friday night for B Varsity Nightly. I'm your host, Trevor Horn. See you guys right back here tomorrow.